If I were a rich man. Booty, booty, booty. Okay, just joking. Uh, again, I'm just gonna ch show you wealth is a major part of our society, you know? Uh, but today we're talking in all seriousness. We're talking about J.B. Hunt. Have you heard of him? Maybe you've seen his trucks driving around, his semis all over the place, transportation company. J.B. Hunt is the first billionaire we are diving into. Stick around to the end and you will learn his billion dollar secret. And J.B. Hunt, he wasn't your average billionaire. He was not an educated man. He actually dropped out of school very, very young. I believe in the eighth grade. He dropped out of school in the eighth grade because he had to support his family. It was during a time of major recession and his family had to eat. So he had to drop out of school just to help his family survive. He started working at his uncle's sawmill where he learned invaluable skills about business and about sales. And he really enjoyed it there, but he, he kept going, he kept striving. He married his wonderful wife and they, they, were, they remained happily married until the time of his death. Until, you know, they decided they were going to start a company together. They decided it was going to be a rice transportation company. He, they started it, they were excited and it failed. It actually failed pretty miserably. Him and his wife ended up losing about $19,000, which mind you, isn't the most astronomical sum I've ever heard, but have you tried losing $19,000 recently? It doesn't feel that great. So they lost $19,000 in their first business venture, but they weren't dissuaded. A few years later, J.B. Hunt came back and he decided to start another transportation company. It started small, five trucks, five, uh, five trailers, and they started from there. And it got bigger and it got bigger until they went public and they became a multi-billion dollar company. And, and it flourished and it's still flourishing to this day. His wife after his passing is still in the billionaires club. But what was his secret? Someone once asked him in an interview, JB Hunt, well, JB, why aren't more people successful? In which he responded, most people aren't successful because they haven't made up their mind to be successful. Pretty simple, right? They haven't decided to be successful. Have you decided? A lot of people say they want to be successful, but they actually haven't made that decision to do what it takes to be successful. So here is your challenge for this week. Write down all the things that you want in your life. What level of success you want to be at, you know, marital status, think personal activities. And I want you to really decide which ones you're willing to dedicate yourself to and why. Why do you want to be a billionaire? Why do you want to be a millionaire? Why do you want to get on that show? Your why has to be strong enough to support you in times when you don't feel like it. It has to be strong enough to make you talk to people that you're terrified with from. So what's your why? Have you decided? And if you go through your list and you decide on some of them your why isn't big enough, I had a student once who said, hey, I wanna learn Russian. And I said, cool, uh, why do you wanna learn Russian? And his response was, I think it'd be fun. Do you think he ever actually accomplished it? No, he never accomplished it because he actually never decided to learn Russian. It would be cool, but he hadn't decided. Are you ready to decide? You can do this. There's your assignment, write it down, write down the why, keep a notebook for this entire, for the, for this entire course because you're gonna get an assignment different time. Thanks and I look forward to hearing about your results.